I don't like this episode. I didn't like it. This episode sucked. And y'all already know why. Y'all know why. Did y'all see what Rock Lobster did to the elevator? Did you see that shit? My favorite fucking character? That awesome ass ability? Rock, somebody like Rock Lobster? Defeated the elevator? You almost dropped Hunter Hunter because of that shit, man. You, did you see that shit? How you gonna do that shit to the elevator, though? I think. Fuck Rock Lobster, bitch. You guys see you, you bogus for doing my nigga like that. How you gonna let him go out like that, man? That elevator was beastie, man. Greatest fucking thing you ever invented. Greatest. Anyway. Hammer Hunter episode 119. <sighs> Killua. Putting in that work on Yuppie's face. <sighs> that was disgusting. Just smacking him around. This is a, a royal guard we talking about. Somebody... He said he had ain't none of these people got ten percent, ain't even close to ten percent of my power. You know, ten percent of my raw power. I don't know if that's just his physical ability. It probably is. I don't know. And and these, and they, you know, they whooping him. They kind of whooping him. You know, they put in their work on him, and he just smiling like, wow. These people, are, they, they, this, this aura stuff is profound. They doing all of this shit against me, and they they so weak. They like ants. Fucking crazy, man. But anyway, killing was power. Speed of lightning, God speed, speed of lightning. He can control his body at will. I mean, it gives him a boost of speed, a big ass boost of speed, because uh, Yuppie couldn't even fucking react. And when he and when he did, the tiniest bit of reaction, and. Activated what a pre a pre programmed action and killer was uh near or some shit. That's I bet, I guess that's what whirlwind was. You know, when he caught that damn dart and um you know, that's when he discovered it. And now he now he's putting these two two you know speed of lightning and whirlwind together and he fucking UP up kinda. Cause UP couldn't feel none of that shit. But he only able to do it for like a couple seconds. I'm pretty sure that's all that passed was a couple seconds. But I guess that training with uh fucking uh palm not palm fucking biscuit paid off you know I wish he could do it a little bit longer man but still man he just you know he just found out he got to work out the kinks and shit but um anyway after that shit went off I, I was terrified you know I was terrified for that nigga he as soon as it went off he dipped up the damn heel and you be right behind his ass he was on his ass like what the fuck I'm gonna whoop your ass nigga you just hit me in my chin you bitch you know? You know, but anyway, after that, um, chameleon has saved him, and, uh, you know, I guess he gotta wait to charge it up again, because he said some shit about that in the past, how he had to, it takes a while to charge up his power or some shit, but, um, anyway, Hotel Raflasia, I think that's what it's called, that, that weird ass name, it, the thing on his shoulder went away, on, uh, UP shoulder went away, so, I'm guessing shoot, I don't know if he's dead, he can't be dead, shoot ain't dead, but he, he knocked out from blood loss or something. Somebody gotta say this nigga. Cause he... I don't know. He was putting in that work but now... He just... Just laying there. You know. Somebody help him. Somebody help him. But anyway. To the longest part of this episode. Ikogo man. And fucking Rock Lobster. To the worst part. You know cause... How can you do that to my man, Elevator Man? How can you do that? I don't know, man. I don't understand how something is powerful. That was an ass pull right there. Something. I don't know what it was. But it was something. It's a plot hole. You had can somebody as weak as Rock Lobster affect the elevator. I don't know. But, um, anyway. I don't remember everything that happened doing that thing. Because a lot of shit happened. And it was a lot of fucking talking and all that shit. But anyway, he tried to chop him in the elevator. Or, no, he didn't. No, he didn't try to trap him in the elevator. He tried to trap him in that little room after, you know, he blew the door after ele off the elevator because he he was in the navigator room, not the navigator. I don't the security room. He was able to see stuff, you know. And he tried to you know put the smoke screen, put the smoke screen on, tried to trap him in there, and you know put the doors down, and he tried to lead him into a passageway so he can get up the elevator. 
<clears throat> so, uh, Rock Lobster wasn't going for that. I have to say that that move that he did was pretty uh fucking cool. That fucking dash. I don't know what that was. And the way he was uh he used that to fucking discover if um somebody was watching him or some shit. That was pretty cool. But um now it was now at that point it was a fucking battle between wits who can who can not a wits but who can find the I don't I don't know man. But um. I don't know. This just it was just this part was just it was interesting, but it wasn't. I don't know. It was just it just was. But anyway, he tries to uh, Rock Lobster tries to get out of there, and you know by blasting the doors, but he can't really get out of there because uh, the doors are too tough. So, um, what was the plan that Ikago came up with? He tried to I think it was the tanks or some shit, man. Because it was another way out of there. Cause Rock Lobster could have just blew a fucking hole in the elevator. Was the fast? I wish you would. I wish you would blow another hole in that elevator. I'll, I'll jump and hunt hunt myself and stump your ass, nigga. Don't you ever touch the elevator again. But anyway, um, you know, when Rock Lob when Rock Lobster found that out, I guess when uh that's when uh he pulled out the tank and he, he got he gathered all that stuff that was around the room to try to um you know get ready for his plan or some shit. Chicago did. So he pulled, he got, he grabbed the tank and he, he opened the gate and charged, charged at Rock Lobster, and you know, blocked off the hell of the elevator, which uh, pissed off Rock Lobster, and he started a little fire in the tank so he can get away and you know creep through the um, fucking top of the elevator, and just sit there and wait for the uh, sleepy gas to fill up the room. So anyway, uh, sleepy gas got to Rock Lobster, and he fell asleep, and he called it was about to shoot the nigga in the head, which he I don't. I don't know, man. He he was about to shoot him, and he didn't. And then he ran away, and he hid. And, uh, ah, I, uh, it was just uh, uh, Killua made this episode, and the ending pretty, uh, you know, was pretty good too with fucking Morel, man. Cause Morel, he it was he he is good at what he do, but yeah, UP or not UP, but Poof is a tricky motherfucker. You know, he's setting that damn cocoon. Fucking wait, biding his time, you know, analyzing more rail and like, man, wait, wait, was this a fucking trap all along? You know, maybe he ain't answered to uh fucking poof because I don't know, I don't know, but um, Morel is he he got to do something, man. He either gonna sit there and be stuck with that damn cocoon or attack, which it looked like he gonna do next episode because I don't know, man. I don't know. Did, did how did Poof did what what happened? Cause next thing we see him in the little previews, we see him attack the cocoon. Next thing you know, he helping Knuckle against uh Yupi. You know, cause he making clones and shit. And what happened? I don't know what happened to uh Poof. Did he beat Poof? Or did or did Poof fly away or some shit? Did Poof go Poof? That was lame. I should never. Why did I think of saying that shit? But anyway, X episode looks like some shit's gonna go down. Knuckle is gonna get back in the fight. What the hell is gonna happen to shoot, man? Cause ah, what's that nigga name? That other dude that was with them. No, where is he at, man? Why can't they just drop his ass off in a hole or some shit? That one of those holes that he left behind, you know, some shit like that. They, I mean, yeah, yeah. Cause right now Knuckle is, I mean, shoot is out of there. All they gotta do is drop that nigga off in a hole and have um. No tend to the wounds or some shit, you know. Cause Nova ain't doing shit. He didn't he ain't done scared this nigga had yellow. This nigga's a blonde now. Anyway. Uh it was I wanna say it was an okay episode. I want to, but that long ass part where they call go get us nowhere. It was just fucking eh. But Killua, you know, and um you know, kinda, you know, Morel, but that kinda made it that it was eh, I don't know how to judge it was it was I don't know. It's like comparing Wendy's to McDonald's. It was, it's, it was almost Wendy's, cause Wendy's is okay and McDonald's kind of sucks. It was almost Wendy's, but it, it was bad Wendy's. It was a ghetto Wendy's, you know, in a bad neighborhood. One of those where niggas lick your burgers before they give them to you. Which uh, it was kind of like that, man. Kind of like eating a licked on burger. That's how this episode was. So yeah, man. Take it how you want it. Anyway, 
Um, next episode, I hope we get a little bit more action, man. This action was nice, but it was just way too much talking. It was kind of... Was, it wasn't enough action for the talking. But anyway, peace out. I hope this ain't lagging enough because I did this shit like four times already.